when we first started using this, um, we would buddy up with a pal, we would set them up in the clinic opposite us, and we would practice using it. I was, you know, a cynic to start with, didn't think it would have the value. I would practice starting and ending a call. I would practice bringing in a second clinician if we were going to be doing a joint consultation. All of those things, um, you know, gave me confidence in using it. And the more I used it, the more I thought, oh, this is actually good. This is actually sometimes better than a face-to-face. -face. From a flexibility point of view, it's also allowed clinicians to maybe have a little bit more hybrid working environment. There are aspects of how near me is set up that make it purpose-built for healthcare. It's designed for that purpose. Near me just ties in a much more clinical aspect. It feels like a proper consultation. We could share the images with the patient, and this was a revelation. Patients then could really buy into the consultation and felt that it had the same value as maybe sitting next to me in a consultation room and me talking about the radiographs and x-ray pictures on the screen. The other aspect that I've worked out with near me consultations is they are quite effective. If you can get the patient there on time, and if we stick to being on time, and actually what you've found is timekeeping for, for people became a little bit better uh, with the use of virtual consultations or virtual meetings. Each of our patients have already had a first touch point of care with another medical, dental, allied healthcare professional. There's that layer of safety and that we're getting a history that comes with a referral. Another aspect of Near Me from my point of view is consult now. It means that you can contact the patient quickly and quite directly and set up a very fast consultation using either a mobile phone or, or any other access that they might have. Some of the telephone consultations that you might just be chatting to the patient, you might say, listen, actually, I'd like to just have a look at you. I've got an x-ray that I want to show you. Uh, would you be happy just to move straight to a, a video consultation? And we can turn it from a telephone consultation into a video consultation almost instantly. You know, we'll input the details, do a consult now, they'll get a, a little message, follow through the system, and we can connect very, very quickly. And that gives that personal interaction. They're getting to see a clinician. And I think we can't undervalue the ability to actually stare somebody in the eye a little bit. Patients, they, they feel that they're, you're in the room with them. They can see your face, they can see your expressions. I had a, a very nice uh, older patient, you know, nearly 80 years of age. He indicated that he was really very apprehensive of coming for his uh, video consultation, didn't know quite how to do it. His wife was a little bit more tech savvy and she was then able to set it up. We did the consultation and indeed he was so grateful that he didn't have to drive a long distance that he suggested he would buy himself a new laptop because he might be interacting uh, more likely with healthcare in this fashion in the future. If we can offer them an alternative, we're saving them time. We took a snapshot assessment of about 10 clinics that we delivered here remotely where all those patients would have otherwise been getting seen face to face. And what we found is that we saved 90 hours in travel time for patients. They're not spending money on petrol. There's economic benefit directly to patients. There's benefit in terms of sustainability as well. I had a patient just this morning actually and he was a, a roofer. He managed to do the consultation from a, a quiet spot in the house that he was working on. He would have had to take a whole day off his work, got the whole consultation done inside 15 minutes, he can go on with the rest of the day. So he might have lost a day's pay, he would have probably had to pay for his fuel to come and see us and effectively he had the same quality and same consultation just done remotely. We've built it into our pathway. Uh, from a clinician's point of view, I think we need to buy into this as much as the patient need to buy into it. If it didn't benefit my patients, I wouldn't be advocating for it.